We're rapidly approaching the end of Game of Thrones and we have a lot of feelings about that fact. Some of us are prepped for disappointment. Others revel in Cersei Lannister as the greatest villain in television history. Mostly everyone's upset that Jon Snow didn't pat Ghost goodbye. But seeing as we're headed toward the end game and we've finally calibrated our televisions correctly, we thought it might be a good time to discuss predictions. Who will ultimately win the Game of Thrones? Here's what we think. Mark Serrell said it's clear at this point that the ship is steering toward the Jon Snow ending, but this is Game of Thrones and what you think is going to happen is almost meaningless. It's a tough one to call. The symbolism of Rhaegal getting shot in the neck by Euron Greyjoy, leaving just one dragon remaining, suggests that Danny and Jon ruling over the incest realm as an aunt and nephew power couple probs isn't happening at this point. The smart money is probably on Jon Snow, given he is a literal and actual Mary Sue, but a super-powered Danny is still a possibility. Part of me, however, would love the twist of Cersei winning in the end. Look, she might be a sociopath who hates poor people, but she's been through a lot, okay? She's been used and abused, her children have been murdered, and she reigns supreme in the most patriarchal universe in television history. She has taken on men in the Game of Thrones, bending the rules they wrote, rules that work to her absolute disadvantage, but still she continues to outplay them all. She is my queen and I will forever bow down to her. Jackson Ryan Wild fan FIC theories are on the table now that Dot is racing hard to the finish line, right? Then the real winner should be Hot Pie. Hot Pie actually killed the Night King. He set Arya on her way back to Winterfell, where she ultimately ended the reign of the Blue Man Group. That in makes Hot Pie the most genuine, wholesome choice to lead the realm into an era of post-Lannister pastry prosperity. Oh, we can't go fan FIC. Well, uh, no one. And not like Arya's no one. Just no one. Nobody wins. We all lose. Sarah McDermott, I've only seen the first episode but I'm pretty sure the Sean Bean guy is going to go the distance. Long live King Sean, Dan Ackerman, the John, Danny Power Couple will cycle through several more iterations before we're through. First with a conscious uncoupling, then getting back together, splitting again, etc. At the end, it will devolve into a Ray, Kylo Ren codependent relationship, where the teaming up to fight a common enemy one second, then fighting each other the next. But none of that matters, because here's my go for broke prediction. As Mark suggests, the show ends with Cersei, still on the Iron Throne, her enemies vanquished or exiled. Then the final shot dollying in on her as she reaches up and... It's Arya Stark wearing a Cersei mask. Cut to credits. David E. Katz mess answer with Bran as hand and Tyrion Varys as the hands behind the hand. After Jon and Danny and Cersei and Jaime kill one another in a massive four-way battle royale in the throne room intercut with an epic side battle featuring the Hound and Arya on one side versus the Mountain and a surprisingly spry Kyburn on the other, Tyrion and Varys crawl out from under the wine sidecar looking for someone, anyone left alive to place on the throne. Some think Cersei has a good shot. HBO in rides Sansa on the back of Lady, fully restored and fluffy thanks to the Lord of Light, next to Rickon on Shaggy Dog and Bran riding, wagging Nymeria. The surviving North men and King's Landing common folk have crowned Sansa Queen now that Jon's dead and Drogon goes along with it because respect the North. All hail the new mother of dragons and wolves with a side of ravens, no king required. Patricia Puentesi really wanted to see the Night King on the Iron Throne because I was a believer in the whole allegory about the White Walkers representing climate change. And Game of Thrones as a cautionary tale to take the planet's well-being more seriously really appealed to me. Now that Westeros seems to be rid of blue-eyed zombies I feel a bit bummed.
One thing is clear, I absolutely don't want a happy ending for this show and I'll be pissed to no end if John Danny end up sharing the throne, holding hands and living happily ever after. Even if they're a slightly incestuous couple. So either let the merciless Cersei win, she makes for much more entertaining TV than the insipid Jon Snow Aegon Targaryen, or find a way for the children of the forest to create a new knight monarch and let the undead take the Iron Throne. Also, if Game of Thrones created an uproar about a Starbucks coffee cup, maybe it can create another one about single-use plastic. Now playing, watch this Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 4, The Good, The Bad. 717 Natalie Weinstein dreamt about this after seeing a headline, but not reading the story about Stephen King's theory. In my dream, Jamie dies while killing Cersei just as she's about to do something truly mad, just like when Jamie killed Danny's father. The mountain kills the hound. Grey Worm kills the mountain. Danny and her dragon die in battle with Euron. John dies trying to save Danny. Yara shows up and kills Euron. Basically only a miserable Tyrion is left to rule. My dream didn't include Arya or Bran, though I am sure they will play important roles in the finale. It also didn't include Sansa, but I'm guessing she remarries Tyrion and finally becomes queen. Finally, Kyburn wasn't in my dream, but he definitely needs to die a horrible death, along the lines of Ramsay. Despite all that, what I really want is for Danny to break the wheel and to rule, with John in peace. But that feels like I'm asking way too much. John is the obvious choice. HBO Patrick Holland Chair Say Gills Jame Area Gills Cerso Mountain Almost Kills Handria Gills Mountain Daenerys Goes Mad John Kills Daenerys Hon Retires Up North Isla Wolverine Bron Gills Harry Yara Gills Urin Potter Kills The Ladies Wink Wink Sansa Wins The Game of Thrones and Sherry Think We All Know The True Winner Here HBO or EK Throw Rugs Jennifer Bissetti Think It'll Be John Because He Didn't Get To Kill The Night King So This Is His Time To Shine I have no other reasoning. I hope Sansa rules the North and Danny fulfills her destiny in securing King's Landing, but then she realizes Drogon isn't happy in Westeros and flies off somewhere where secret dragons live. Our la how to train your dragon 3. All the characters who have some goal, like are you killing loads of people, either achieve the goal and die, or die before they achieve the goal. They all die because otherwise they'd be aimless in Jon's happy kingdom. Sean Keenan has been presented pretty unsympathetically this season and John strictly adhered to his father-uncle's code of honor and decency, making him the obvious choice for the throne, even if that honor got net killed and John really doesn't want to sit on the chair made of knives, Cersei's amazing to watch, but she's had the throne long enough and her uppance badly needs to come. Anyway, if it can't be Oberyn Martell, who even cares? Drakeris. Let's block ads. Why?